all right guys we're back with another video and i went a little crazy with this one so this is the same environment from the high definition render pipeline series but i've overhauled it a little bit to make it uh more navigable and i've added some stuff to it the big focus is uh putting it in vr and I've been having a blast with it. Honestly, I can't stop playing with it. It's a pretty good time. I think it's a little more ambitious than the last one. And I uh, thought you guys might want to check it out. So I'm going to play it real quick. And then we'll do a uh, little breakdown of some of the stuff in it. But it's mostly just showing off the project. Let's see what we got here. All right, we're here in VR, in Unity, the high-definition render pipeline. I've got this little crossbow that I've built, and I put some stuff to shoot. Got these little creatures I made. Uh, last night. Obviously they're not perfect at this point, they're falling over, but I think they're still pretty cool. Yeah, this guy's stuck. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was obvious or not, but I was clearly going for sort of a Dark Souls-inspired environment. The textures and stuff, I actually uh, got a Steam copy of uh, Substance Painter and Substance Designer, so I've gotten to do some really cool stuff with textures that I've never really gotten to do before. That's been a fantastic experience. I've used it on these guys as well, but they kind of need to be in direct light for me to be able to tell. So I started off lining these just stacks of buckets up here to shoot at, and then I created these little guys to come after you. And I think them falling over is due to their capsule collider not being elongated enough. Uh, I think if I, if I just elongated a little bit it would be fine, but I could be wrong there. Got me a nice fountain here. Lighting wise, I tried to uh, sort of
these bucket piles are way more fun to shoot at than you'd think they'd be. And I also stuck a nice dragon up on the tower there. And two more bucket stacks left. I put in these uh, these priest guys. They were in the original uh, pancake project, you could call it. But I did, as I said, updated them quite a bit with the uh, substance painter. I went and redid their textures. But they don't uh, they don't do anything as of yet. Still got more work to do, but here comes the fun part. Yeah, got a slightly okay animated dragon. The uh, flowers and trees, I built and tree it, just like I did in the High Definition Render Pipeline project. I thought you guys would like this because uh, the high definition render pipeline tutorial series uh, went pretty well. Um, a lot of people seemed to enjoy it, and I just thought the environment was super cool. Uh, I think a couple days after I finished that series, uh, I had some other stuff going on, but uh, once once I got got done with that, I just thought, wouldn't it be awesome if I put a dragon in here? I stuck this little guy in here. Um, got him animated. I've actually had to animate him twice because I overrid it uh, one time, which kind of sucked. But what are you going to do? But yeah, uh, I put him in there and I was like, well, this, this just has to go in VR now. And so I sort of built out all this little extra interior area and, you know, tried to still allow spots for the environment to show like this nice uh very dark soulsy bridge uh let's see here as for my little guys here's one of them oh, it's going to zoom us way out because i used um just a big disc as their awareness uh volume so the Essentially, whenever you get within a certain range of them, they will become aware of you. But yeah, you can see where I kind of textured this guy up in Substance Painter. The eyeballs, I don't know what's going on with that. I could not get them to look right. Uh, they looked fine until I stuck them in Engine, and then they're, they're just looking weird. I think it has um, something to do with my metallic map. I'm, I'm not sure. But I think everything else on them looks pretty good. Uh... Yeah, pretty simple little character that I threw together, uh, rigged in Blender. And then, I didn't actually realize this up until this particular character, but um, I, previously, any character animations I was doing, or any rigging animations I was doing, I would do in Blender, and then import into Unity, and just have to hope everything lined up well, or have to, you know, kind of 
tweak things to make it line up well. Uh, turns out you can uh, do all your animation within Unity, which is super handy. Uh, these guys didn't have super complex animation. They have uh, literally a chill animation where they just sort of... Um, actually, I can probably bring it up. Here we go. Let's play that. If we can get on them. There we go. Sort of just this kind of chill where they're kind of hanging out animation and then they have their actual uh, walk animation delete that, there we go, where they're just running after you yeah, uh, so not a super complex character by any means but still it was really nice to be able to uh, just bring it in to Unity and animate it there um, <clears throat> as for the crossbow, also, do these doors not look awesome? Like, I, I'm so, I'm digging the substance painter so much. Um, well worth the price. Let's see here. Actually, we'll just do this. There we go. So yeah, the the crossbow I can't see it very well in the uh, in the dark here, but it actually <clears throat> is using a really simple system. I just attached it to track to your right hand. Uh, it's a simple input of just squeezing the trigger fires the bolt. The bolt is a separate prefab object, uh, and it's literally just it, it says hey. Whichever direction the crossbow is pointing, launch me in that direction with, uh, you know, so much force. Uh, it could use some tweaking, like, a, it could probably shoot a little faster, but honestly, I like having the drop. It just makes more, um, makes the shooting a little more technical. Um, as I said, I did all the modeling and whatnot in Blender. So there's our crossbow right there. Uh, it's untextured, so uh, I got to this point with it within Blender and then uh, brought it into Substance Painter and textured it that way. Some of the things like the uh, buildings that we did for the last project, uh, I textured within um, Blender and that worked out really well, especially for those shapes, like those cube-like shapes. Uh, but some stuff wasn't working out as well using that method, uh, or it was just more difficult, like uh, the dragon over here, who doesn't look that great with this texture, which is why I brought him into Substance Painter and retextured him, and you know gave his spikes you know, kind of a sheen, sort of a bone, uh, along with up here, and then I had, like, some, you know, kind of underbelly and under-the-wing kind of skin. I think I added some blood to his face or something. It doesn't, you, you don't ever really get close to him, so it's not like it matters, but it was just fun to do. Yeah, and this little guy, minus the eyeballs, was completely untextured, uh, and I did him in Substance Painter, and you can see he's, you know, all rigged up, his little spider legs. But yeah, uh, right here, this little chunk of objects, that's most of the objects in the project. And uh, yeah, it's crazy what you can do with a little bit sometimes. Oh, I'm trying to use uh, Unity shortcuts within Blender. It's there's so many different software and so many different shortcuts. It's hard to keep track of them. Uh, yeah, this guy ended up retexturing as well. So I did a lot of retexturing in Substance Painter. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, those files. I probably should have kept them, but uh, I'm using a laptop. I don't have a tremendous amount of space. So I've just been uh, exporting the textures out and then, you know, toss them, tossing them into Unity. Um, but I thought you guys would enjoy this. Like, it, does this seem uh, something that is viable? Uh, should I 
add more to this, continue on with this. Uh, is there anything that you guys would like to know how to do uh, from this? Uh, you know, the I'm using most of the same methods that I've been using in my previous things. Obviously, for the sound, there's Audacity, LMS. Um, for the modeling, you know, Blender. Uh, I, a lot of the, uh, pretty much this entire environment, we go over step-by-step -step building in the uh, high-definition render pipeline tutorial series, which, uh, my god, that was a, a way bigger project than I would have thought it would have been. But, yeah, uh, if there's anything that you guys want to know or that I could help you out with, let me know.